Hello, Year 11. Mr. Bateman here with the Spen Valley Geography Department with a quick information PowerPoint to help you prepare for the mock exams in January. Just attached to the screen now is a link to the AQA GCSE Geography specification, which might be useful to follow as it goes through everything that you could possibly be tested on in the final exams in the summer. During the January mock, you will be sitting a paper one. Okay, paper one is physical geography and it will be one hour long. It consists of three sections, which are natural hazards, the living world and physical landscapes in the UK. During the paper one for the tectonic hazard section, it'll be useful to revise all your key case studies, in particular, the Haiti earthquake in 2010. It might also be useful to recap all the content in that subject as well, which is displayed in the top left hand corner of the screen. You also need to recap the weather hazards that we studied in year 10, things like tropical storms and your key case study, which is Typhoon Haiyan. You will also be tested on climate change in paper one. So looking at causes of climate change, why it's happening, as well as how we can respond and adapt to climate change and mitigate climate change altogether. Section B will be the living world. In the living world, we study things such as ecosystems. We looked at our local case study, which is the Spen Valley High School Woods. We also looked at detailed case studies of tropical rainforests and cold environments. It would be really useful to go over all these case studies and ensure that you're familiar with all the key things that you need to know as displayed on the screen in front of you. I also want to point out that we will be cutting certain sections out of this paper as we haven't studied them in enough detail yet and we don't feel it's fair to test you on them at this moment in time. So the ones that are crossed out may be focused less on those and more on the ones that don't have the red cross through them. Section C, physical landscapes on the UK, is where you will be tested on your knowledge of coasts and rivers. Make sure you revise both topics in detail and there's plenty of things on rivers attached to Google Classrooms which you should have learned recently. So it'll be well worth going over those again. Everything you need to know once again is displayed on the topic overviews you can see. In addition to paper one for the mock exams, we will also be sitting at paper three. This is where we look at skills and fieldwork and this will be um, condensed into two sections. So section A is what we call issue evaluation. Section B is what we know as unfamiliar fieldwork. This paper will only be 45 minutes long. So for your issue evaluation section, this will consist of a booklet that will be given out to you in December. You'll also be given a new copy of this booklet for the mocks as well. The booklet will consist of a geographical theme or issue, and it will all come from the paper one exam. It may, however, be something that we have not studied. So it could be anything, even something that we haven't learned before. It will contain the following information. It will tell you about key features of the problem or issue it's talking about. It will tell you where it's happening. It will tell you what the issue is and possible management strategies to deal with the issue. You're going to be asked a series of questions about the booklet, but you'll also need to tie in your own geographical knowledge and understanding. This section will always end with a nine marker where you have to make a decision about what you believe is the best strategy going forward. But you will learn all this in the booklet prior to setting uh, to sit in the exam. You're also needing to use the information from the booklet to make this decision. So you have to refer to the booklet constantly. Section B will be unfamiliar fieldwork questions. So you will be asked questions about fieldwork that is unfamiliar to you. For example, you might see something like this. Now, it's quite hard to prepare for these sections, but what you can do is you can cover um, a range of practice questions to help you cover you know, different possibilities that might come up. So the questions could be about different themes such as rivers, coasts, ecosystems, anywhere where a geographical fieldwork investigation could take place and you have to respond to these questions for this section, okay? Your teacher will also be sharing questions on Google Classrooms to help you practice and get ready for this section of the test. Useful websites you might want to refer to, I'm gonna display on the screen now. So, Really good websites include Seneca Learning, which you're all familiar with. We've got GCSE uh, BBC Bite Size, the link is there, another really good website. We've got Internet Geography and also Cool Geography, which all display relevant information for everything that we're going to cover. So it'd be well worth checking those out to help you prepare for the mocks. 
So also, if you'd like to purchase a revision guide, the one we like as staff and the one that we definitely recommend is this one you can see in front of you. If you just type the title into Amazon or any search engine, you can find uh, plenty of options to buy that and it really would help. So the big picture leading towards the summer will be slightly different. You can see that as well as paper one and paper three, in, in the summer you're going to also see a paper two, which will be one hour, 30 minutes long. In this section will be included the change in economic world, which we've just done, looking at Nigeria and the UK, as well as section C, which is resource management, which we did on the Google Classrooms at the end of year 10. We will be going over this again um, in lessons towards the end of our studies and section A, which we have yet to study, which is urban issues and challenges. But everything else we have covered to date. So make sure we're preparing well. Plenty of revision time. Focus on everything that this PowerPoint has um, gone through. There's plenty of stuff on Google Classrooms to help you as well. Lots of revising and good luck.